Hi, this is David. Welcome to the Stream of David. In our last episode, the stream shared their perspective on the presidency of Donald Trump. I hope that those of you that listened to it found it helpful. And if you haven't listened to it, I encourage you to go and listen to it. Because the stream shared their opinion of Donald Trump from their perspective, as well as their opinion of politics from their perspective. And they also shared a very valuable tool that I've developed called mirroring, where I am able to manifest things by reflecting back on other successful manifestations. And they gave a very good example of that. And I shared last week that the morning of recording that podcast, I received this very detailed block of thought around the subject of transgender people. It was interesting to me because it wasn't something that was on my mind at the time at all. It just came to me. I was writing and I uh, sat down and started writing from the stream's perspective. I can get into that state very, very quickly in, in written form. It takes a little more time for me when I'm actually speaking. I have to really uh, get into a rhythm to be able to actually speak for them. And as you can hear when I'm channeling, uh, it starts out very rough and rocky and strained, and then it kind of smooths out and kind of becomes more like my regular voice uh, as I become much more comfortable with it uh, in the moment. I'm open to covering any and all topics that come my way, and this was something that uh, was not, as I said, generated by me. It was generated by them. So obviously there's a lot of asking on this topic out there for them to come forth in the way that they did, and uh, it really gave me a lot of clarity on it. And I'm going to now quiet my mind, get into my meditative state, and allow them to come forth and share their perspective on this topic with all of you. So give me just a moment and we will be right back and you'll be hearing from the stream directly. We are here. David. We have come today with the intention of discussing the topic of transgendered people. There are many who struggle in many different directions regarding the subject. We encourage you to listen to this entire message. For those of you who are struggling, you may not like where we begin, but we promise you will like where we end up. All life on your planet began as a projection of thought, a thought consciousness from the stream that set out to specifically project into this world and manifest in physical form. You decided before you came on a set of characteristics and circumstances that would surround you early on in your life with the intention of these circumstances and characteristics of seasoning your life experience. And by seasoning, we mean often placing certain obstacles in your path for the very joy of overcoming them. Your intention when manifesting here on earth was to be free, was to use your creative abilities and your intellect to project thought forward and create from your thought perspective these obstacles that you place in your path are intended by you or were when you manifested in physical form to enrich your experience, to make your life interesting, and to add to the velocity that powers your expansion. Think about your works of fiction, your entertainment. Every story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Every story has a protagonist, and to some degree, every story has an antagonist. Your time spent here on this planet is your story. A story without a middle 
simply has a beginning and an end. Jane was born, and then she died. The end. That story is not very interesting. Your life, your time here on this planet, is your story. And a story without a middle is not very interesting. So you came to be free, to experience joy, and to place obstacles in your path for the joy of overcoming them. As your society has evolved, humans have gotten together, flocked in groups, congregated in communities. This is natural. But from this came rules, expectations that you must meet to fit into this group, to this society, into this community. Governments and religions were formed, often with very strict rules and severe consequences for not following these rules. The rules were largely based around the advancement of the society, meaning that procreation was necessary. Then fear set in. The fear of the inability to procreate to the numbers that were desired. From this fear-based perspective, rules were drafted. Many specifically focused on gender roles and the family unit. Humans, with their advanced intelligence, began migrating beyond their natural habitats. This created the need for clothing, for warmth and protection. As societies continued to advance, the desire for clothing became centered around modesty rather than just warmth and protection. In their desire for connection and community, males and females found the need to cover the very parts of their bodies that identified them as such. As societies continued to advance and more rules were developed around gender identity and the family unit, the need then arose to differentiate male from female. Females were directed to dress a certain way, wear their hair a certain way, and over time even act a certain way. And males were directed to dress and act differently. As you get to know us, you will discover that we spend very little time looking back. But we think on this topic, it was very important to give you a broader perspective, an historical perspective, on why your societies and how your societies came to identify male and female by outward appearance. And so you see all of these rules that you have regarding how a male or female should dress or act are man-made. And since your very nature is freedom, you did not come here to follow these rules. So some of you are born male, yet you desire very much to grow your hair long, or wear makeup, or dress in what is considered to be women's clothing, while some of you are born female and wish to wear your hair short. Do not wish to wear makeup or to wear what is traditionally called men's clothing. And there are infinite examples of everything in between. There is no right or wrong to any of this from our perspective. You are free to live your life in any way that you choose. But many of you feel that you have been placed in a box. That your society is forcing you to dress or behave in a way that is not true to who you really are. And because you've been placed in this box, some of you feel the need to go to extreme measures to attain the life that you seek. Our guidance, as with all things, is to meditate, to reach a place of clarity on this topic. We want to assure you that you manifested in physical form on this earth exactly as you intended to manifest. There are no misfires from source to physical manifestation. Your natural characteristics and the preferences that you develop on your life path, sometimes very early on, are unique to you and were your intent before you came here. You all possess the ability to discern preference, to project thought, and to create from that thought your future. 
And since there is no right or wrong, and you have the ability to do and be whatever you want, it is certainly within your abilities and your rights to change your body if that's what you desire. But we want you to know that you came equipped for a full, rich life experience from birth, just the way you are. Dress as you want, behave as you want, and do what you want. There is no right or wrong. There are no rules from our perspective. And if you try to live your life following other people's rules, you will not have a very happy existence. Our guidance is to reach a place of clarity, to make peace with who you are, how you are. And from that place of clarity, determine how you wish to live your life and determine if you truly wish to change your body. And if you do, that is your decision. There is no right. There is no wrong. There is no one to judge you. From our perspective, there is nothing but love for you. Due to the advances in your ability to communicate, more information than ever is flowing regarding this topic. More people than ever are feeling the need to express themselves as who they really are. And due to the polarity of the universe, there is also pushing against those who wish to express themselves in this way. And your attention to them only gives them power. Our guidance is to meditate, to maintain clarity, to set your intentions towards safety and happiness and expressing yourself in the way that you choose. Our guidance is to be confident in who you are and to love yourself. Our guidance is to be confident that you will find your place in the society. You will find employment. Abundance will flow to you. You have the ability to be free and live a very happy life. You just have to allow it. And by allowing it, we mean to remove those obstacles with your very powerful, positive, projected thought. That is all. Hello, everybody. I'm back. I did go back and listen to uh, the playback of the stream. I uh, did not remember much of, of what was said during the session. I thought it was very, very interesting uh, that they uh, went into the history of, of how we ended up uh, dressing the way that we do based on gender identity. I've never really thought that deeply into it, to be honest with you. Uh, so I thought that that was very fascinating, that point of view. Another thing they touched on uh, that was very interesting to me that was not necessarily my point of view uh, was uh, discerning the difference uh, between the desire to dress and look or act a certain way and the true desire to change your body. I hope that um, that made sense to everybody. It certainly did to me, obviously, because there was a blending going on when they, they wrote this through me, and it was pretty much the same attitude uh, in, in spoken form. Uh, the written form went even deeper than that uh, that I got the other day, and I'll, I'll publish that at some point, obviously. But very interesting uh, you know, that, that there are two different mindsets, and I, I think what they're trying to get at is to get yourself into a place of clarity and ensure that you're doing the right thing for the right reasons. And then if you don't, uh, you may not have a positive outcome no matter what you do or how drastic the step. I also like that they touched on the topic of setting intentions towards safety and security and gainful employment. I, I think those are hot topics uh, for anyone, but certainly people in the transgender community. Uh, I, I think that these are things that they deal with more so than, than many. Taking time every day to set your intentions and quiet your mind and create the life that you want is the most important thing. The most important advice that we get from them ever uh, is, is this practice. I will tell you that as an openly gay man in my early 20s, really just coming out of the closet, I dealt with this quite a bit uh, in my professional settings. I was absolutely discriminated against in employment based on the fact that I was gay. 
Uh, and I realized that I was really bringing that to myself, that I sort of expected that, you know, growing up in the deep South, uh, you just think that the whole world is against you when you're openly gay. And I, even though I moved to a larger city, it was still in the South. It was Atlanta, Georgia. And I experienced uh, that three times in a row in jobs. And finally, I realized that I was attracting this to myself and I made the conscious decision to change careers, but also to set the intention that I was going to get into something where I didn't have to worry about that and that I wasn't going to project that to myself. And I will tell you that since that time, I have not had any backlash about being gay. And this was, you know, 20 years ago at this point uh, at work uh, or in my personal life or even just, you know, out on the street uh, living my life as who I am. I really do not get that, uh, any sort of backlash whatsoever anywhere I go. And of course, you know, I live in Northern California, so that, uh, probably makes that a little easier, but I do travel to other more conservative parts of the world, certainly. And I never encounter any type of bias or discrimination that I'm aware of at all. It's just not on my radar. And I certainly don't set my intention toward that. My intention is set toward happiness and safety and security and being very confident about who I am wherever I go. On our next episode, we're going to talk about why we're here. And by we, I mean all of us on planet Earth. I am going to set the intention for the stream to come in and speak directly to you about our purpose, what our intentions are when we manifest in physical form and live this lifespan that we have on planet Earth. Uh, so I hope you'll tune in for that. Uh, I think it's always an interesting topic. I've written a lot uh, channeling the stream on this topic. So I'm looking forward to them coming in and uh, speaking on this topic to all of you. Uh, if you have any questions or topics that you would like to cover or comments or suggestions uh, based on what we have covered, uh, the email address is thestreamofdavid at gmail.com. Again, that's thestreamofdavid at gmail.com. Thanks a lot for joining, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Mm -hmm.